What's good YouTube, this is Kevin Cruz back with another NBA 2K22 tutorial and in this video we're going to focus on the easiest way to blow by your defenders especially when they initiate contact. But in this case we're going to let you initiate the contact and put the defender at your mercy by executing this one simple move which is the easiest way to blow by your defenders in NBA 2K22. So if you're new or if you haven't already, I'd appreciate a sub to the channel as a small creator that helps me out a lot. Like and let me know what you think of this video in the comment section below. And since we're at the conference semi-final stage with game 1 of the Grizzlies and Warriors done, let me know what you think of that playoff series below. It was a great game. I think it's going to be a tough series, but I think the Warriors have it in them to edge this out in 7 games. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. So the move we'll be discussing is the change of pace blow by after you initiate contact and we'll discuss how to do this in NBA 2K22. And if you stick until the end of the video, we'll show you how Jad Morant ended up face planted using one devastating move by Steph Curry as a preview for the next video. So let's get started. First, you want to walk towards your defender and initiate contact by feathering or lightly holding the left stick towards your defender and then holding turbo at the right time to burst out of that contact animation and end up blowing by your defender. And there it is, we could stop the video right here, but stick around because there's a lot of insight into what makes this move very devastating, especially for quicker guards. Simple move, just hold the left stick towards your defender, hold turbo and hold the left stick towards the basket to burst out of that contact animation and then finish at the basket. See, this works on Hall of Fame difficulty even. So the key here is that holding turbo at the right time after you change your pace will lead to a contact blow by which cancels that contact animation. As you can see your jaw is struggling to catch Curry back, you're on his hip and I use a euro step to finish at the basket and seal jaw so that he cannot defend the shot basically. You can see here when I hold turbo is that when you see this hezzy and blow by animation that's the exact time when I hold turbo and just use the right layup to finish at the rim. Make sure you avoid those defenders because blowing by your defender is just step one in, in order to create a quality shot and when you're using guys like John Morant, you got that speed, those badges, those attributes, athleticism that will help you blow by your defender and finish at the rim. This move works really well for slashing tight wings for example, see here Dylan Brooks a decent defender. I just use that change of pace, hold turbo and drive towards the basket as soon as I get that um, forearm to chest animation which allows Andrew Wiggins to protect the ball, create contact, that turbo will burst by and cancel that contact animation and we can have an easy finish towards the basket. But what if we use someone like Desmond Bain who's not really known to be a slashing type guard as you can see here Clay will lock that up. I do the same thing here just I try to feather the left stick but Clay's just too good defensively. But if, see here, if you use Jamorant against someone like Draymond Green, a good defender with the right badges and the right attributes, because Jamorant has a speed advantage, he will be able to blow by bigger defenders like Draymond Green, who's just a little bit too slow for him. Perhaps maybe someone like Clay Thompson will have better luck, better success trying to contain that, and we see that here. I use the same technique, but against someone like Clay Thompson with the right badges, the right attributes, he's able to stick by Jamorant and really stop that deep, stop that initial drive and really clamp him up into a steal. So all is it lost if you're a small defender even if you get blown by, just stay attached to the hip and contest at the right time in order to contest that layup or any of that finish animation. The key here really is to finish strong if you got guys like John Morant, you can blow by Steph and then initiate that deadly contact dunk animation. But if you're a guy like Steph who can't really finish at the rim like that, use your different Euro steps and your finesse, fi finesse finishes in order to finish that play. Even against guys like Dylan Brooks, that's easy money if you finish with the right layup. So that's it, but let me give you a preview in the next episode. Look at that sweet contact counter. There are different contact counters in NBA 2K22. You, again, you don't need to rely on just holding turbo. We want to use skill-based techniques in order to blow by our defenders use different combinations of the right stick, size ups, different escape dribble counters, escape jumper counters. We'll be discussing that in future videos. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Like if you haven't already, if you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.